now we dive into the unsettling encounters of Security1275, who is sharing his experiences during his nightly shifts as security guard at a local cemetery in Georgia. And there have been a lot of really creepy encounters taking place, to say the least. It all started with a random clip uploaded to his account, on which he was sharing some pretty eerie activity that he experienced as something seemed to be in the building with him. So. I'm actually hearing something banging on the door. I'm hoping I'm going to catch this son of a bitch. Bear with me, guys. Um, okay, I'm back. Door was open again. Hello, security! And after sharing this encounter, Josh, the security guard, uploaded another recording in which we can see him on a routine checkup before encountering something really odd that night. Hey, kid! Kid! I don't know where he went. This kid is running from me. Kid! Holy God. Where the went? Certainly not your usual security encounter. The kid refused to turn around and kept walking only to just vanish entirely. Josh didn't know what to do at the time and let the encounter go. Although he was quite baffled, he never found out where the kid went, which is a pretty big mystery for sure. But the night was about to get stranger. This is supposed to be the most haunted cemetery in Savannah. And I am chasing a kid right now. I will not be going down that way. We just took this job like two days ago through the city. This is ridiculous. Somebody has definitely been walking behind me. Um, I'm not sure. I just saw some tourists from Ohio, told them that the place closes at 10. I'm about to head back over there, but I don't know. Um, we've got somebody that's going to be buried here tomorrow, so I'll be doing an escort. Right now, I'm just... Josh completely missed this mysterious shadow at the time, and it was one of his viewers to point out its existence. The boy we saw earlier was still at large. However, it appears unlikely that he was the one that we are seeing here. Was it a ghost? Or perhaps somebody trespassing? Let's jump a few nights forward, in which Josh was posting another update. Okay, I've got my taser out now, y'all, just to be aware. Christ. After this night, he was spooked out enough to not further document about all these strange encounters for a few nights, but he felt the need to pick his camera back up, as in this particular night, he was called up to check on one of his younger and new officers, who wasn't responding to his calls anymore. I was gonna come by and check on him, and... I can't get him to answer the phone. So this is a good time. If you see anything, this would be a good little video because I had no intentions of coming out here. Um, I went up and checked um, on the other side. I just don't know where the hell he's at and he's not answering his phone. So um, I hope whatever the is messing with me in my older videos did not get him. I am, I was actually just going to come by and check on him, make sure he was 10-4, but a funny story is, he said that he had PD out here earlier because he saw what looked to be a little girl was in the hallway when he drove by. When he went back, he didn't find anybody. A bit strange for sure, but since his co-worker couldn't document any of this, some people say that it might have been just paradoia or his colleague getting a bit too nervous and starting to see and hear things, which doesn't sound too outlandish to me. Anyways, we jump forward a few days until Josh updates us with the following material. What is going on? I'm basically just securing all this stuff right now. Um, just making sure there's nobody in here. Anybody in here? 
Hello? Yeah, but listen, you got to get out of here. You're going to have to come talk to me, okay? Where are you at? I can't see you. You're correct, so you need to come out, okay? You, you guys hear this. This is broad daylight. I don't know where this kid is. Where are you? This all had gotten so weird that Josh decided to file a police report about these incidents, since he wasn't sure if somebody was playing pranks or maybe something more serious was going on. And apparently, a police officer came and checked the area out himself. Based on Josh's story, the officer could capture some of this phenomena himself on body camera. But unfortunately, it hasn't been made public. So, what is up, you guys? Um, so, my security officer that I'm supposed to have here tonight, he uh, came in and turned everything in today. He quit. So, I'm actually hearing something banging on the door. I'm hoping I'm going to catch this son of a bitch. Bear with me, guys. Um, okay, I'm back. Door was open again. Hello, security. Hello. Okay. I don't know how they keep opening these. Hello. Yeah. Um. Hey, you need to come out. I'm not playing anymore. I don't know where all these people are, or where. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, guys, um, there was somebody standing in the corner. I just saw that when my video uploaded, and what the <sighs> The lights are flickering on and off. Hang on a second, guys. So, don't know what the going on here but I'm about to check this out okay guys I'm really not sure what's going on here nope yeah I'm done um, this is some spooky going on here um, nope this is why my security officer quit um, just so y'all can be witness here I'm checking out I'm getting the here, this is my day off. I hear leaves crickling. Nope. There was a kid standing. Somebody was standing right over here when I walked right past them to the left. So what is going on, you guys? Um, I hightailed it out of there. Um, don't know what the that was. There was absolutely no switches in that place to turn lights on. Um, don't know why they were flickering. So right now I'm at the Jim Williams house. Whatever this haunting is seems to get stronger and stronger. However, Josh didn't upload any updates on this creepy activity for a few weeks after this, and it is suspected that he needed to take a little breather from all of this. The night of this recording, however, he had to share what he saw. So what is going on, you guys? There is a red truck out here. Um, and the chapel lights just came on. Hello? Hey look, if you're just out here with me, you're fixing to end up in jail, you understand? So where are you? I'm getting the f*** out of here. Get done with it, man. Nope, 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 nope. Hell to the No, 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 no. Somebody's out here with me. Or this is some scary. I ain't doing this garbage no more. And this is where Josh's saga of all the paranormal encounters on the cemetery come to an end. Sadly, some say that he quit the job shortly after, while others think that he might have grown bored of staging all these videos. 
Well, whatever the answer, his case is one of the most infamous ones when it comes to eerie security footage for sure, and rightly so. The next case was shared by user Anonymous1. She's experiencing a really strong haunting in her home and seeking for advice, she states. Something spooky is going on in our basement apartment. Lots of previous activity, but only recently caught on camera. We've had the house blessed and I want to hear your thoughts. Since moving to the house, the following has happened. My mother has been awakened by screaming. Something was screaming her name, touching her face and slapping her so hard that she almost fell out of bed. She has been having very frequent nightmares. I've had above normal episodes of sleep paralysis to the point that I've been prescribed sleep medication and referred to a sleep study. I've had nightmares and been prescribed medication for night terrors. Two guests have seen shadow people while awake on different occasions and then set up cameras to see what was going on. We've had the house blessed by a priest, but the activity hasn't stopped. Let's take a look. The first clips show the orb activity, which is pretty unusual. Some of the orb activity can only be described as really crazy. In the bedroom in particular, there are several of them appearing and dancing around in front of the camera lens, which off nights triggers the motion sensor and then starts panning around in the room. Of course we can't be certain that it isn't insects, but our viewers are pretty sure that this is indeed legit paranormal activity. Anonymous suspects that the orb could be hugging her in this recording. Could that be true? But the most terrifying event was yet to come. Anonymous could capture how something came out of the wall. What a creepy looking thing. And it feels really legit, doesn't it? People have pointed out that this beam appears to be coming out of the television. Could it be using the energy of this device to manifest perhaps? Seeing it manifest as a black cloud though, could mean that they are dealing with something evil. If the video wasn't tampered with digitally, what else could be the cause for the dark smoke, guys? Please let me know. There are several follow-up videos that show some really strange activity in the bedroom. The orb seem to visit on a regular basis. If you want, check out the videos on her channel. It's really terrifying and exciting. This video was captured by Marco. The young man states that he's working the night shift in one of the local mines and that ever since their company has started working on this project, he and his colleagues can always hear some inexplicable screams from inside the old and darkened tunnels. Some even swear to have seen strange things in there that didn't really make sense to them. This night, Marco wanted to record one of the most notorious areas of this mine for friends and family. And this is when he captured the following. Muchos compañeros no querían estar ahí. Decían que los asustaban mucho e incluso decía que veían gente dentro de ese polvorín abandonado.
Marco had no idea what this creepy creature was and it startled him quite a bit. He showed the footage to his colleagues. At this point, the team was pretty much certain that these mines indeed were haunted. I mean, what else could be going on here? Is this maybe an inexplicable being? Really hard to say. Recording was captured from the passenger camera inside a taxi cab, and it's quite the unsettling recording. It was recorded one night when the driver of a cab was on his nightly shift. He saw somebody standing on the side of the road, seemingly waiting to catch a ride, so the driver pulls over to pick up the passenger. See how the car door is opening all on its own? How is that possible? In the beginning of the video, we see what appears to be a woman standing on the side of the road. However, she's not moving one bit, she's just standing there. And then when the cab pulls up, She's gone like a fever dream. It must be spirit though, right? That's what the driver believes. Because how can she open the door when she's not visible anymore? A really strange paranormal encounter that unfolded here. And quite creepy to be honest. In this video, we are following the team of MindCTV into the supposedly haunted Wildwood Sanatorium, which is home to many ghost stories. The property owner is telling the team that many people see shadow figures in there and that others are getting touched by those entities. Shortly after their arrival, they start the investigation after conducting a few interviews. They scout out the whole sanatorium and it seems that the basement was the first area where something interesting was captured. Let's see what's going on with this. Whoa, you hear that? What? Whoa, you hear that? What? Whoa, you hear that? What? You could probably hear it on your audio. Certainly creepy. They make it back upstairs and take a look into the many former patients' rooms. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> you leave here with all sorts. What the? As I spin my flashlight, I see that there's like a plastic ball falling down a staircase in the room that's adjacent to us. The team believes that this might have been thrown by one of the younger spirits that is still residing in this old building. A wind breeze? Unlikely. We have placed four static cameras throughout the house uh, in, in just random various locations. Most of them we didn't see anything interesting on, but one of them, the one that we had aimed at the stairwell where the ball had initially fallen down, it captured some, some pretty interesting things.
And then one of the static CCTV cameras can capture this sinister face peeking out of the darkness. Could this be a former patient? Maybe something more evil that is still existing in the depths of the basement? Whatever the answer, it's very nightmarish and it's worth watching the rest of this investigation for sure. This video was captured and shared by Andy Kept, who was on a trip with a friend the following day. He started recording when he saw something unusual in the distance on top of a mountain. Both drive this road a lot, so there should not have been any surprises with the landscape, that's for sure. What is it? It's a person, dude. No, seriously, pull over, pull over. No. It's a person standing there. No, it's not. Dude, if you've seen what I've seen right now. <laughs> What's interesting is that whatever we are seeing here would have to be extremely tall since this mountaintop is pretty far in the distance. Was it a tree perhaps? No, says the uploader. To this day, they have no idea what they saw there that afternoon. And they never saw it again. Quite mysterious to say the least, don't you think? And now we want to take a look at a video from user STF VNEX and the young girl states that she's actually situated in Boston and that one night she saw a really weird object popping up in the sky and she suspects that this could have been a UFO. Let's see. This is quite strange, guys. I mean, it looks like some sort of plane, but we all know that planes cannot move like that, back and forth. The user has shared the following. He stated, My friend sent me this last night. This is his house, and when he wasn't home, he got a notification that his camera picked up movement. Once he watched it back and saw this, he was shook and asked me what my opinion was. Any thoughts? Looks clear as day to me. On first glance, one could think that the owner himself is walking through the frame here. But this wasn't the case apparently. His friend had some really odd encounters in his apartment in the past, but nothing that would ever prove that paranormal activity is unfolding in there. So did his camera maybe capture an intruder that night? Or are we looking at a paranormal incident here? We are taking a look at another really odd dashcam recording, which was taken by a man who was on the way home one night. He tells us that it is pretty uncommon to come across people on that road, since it's very narrow and not intended for pedestrians. It was also very late that night, slimming down the chances that anybody would decide to walk these streets. Nevertheless, he came across a strange woman. The woman seems to be wearing red clothing of some sorts, but she's not carrying any light source, meaning that she must have been walking up that road for hours in pitch darkness. 
but the man didn't think anything of it and drove past her, only to run into her again a few minutes later. How was that possible? How could the lady be walking up this pitch black mountain road faster than a car? Of course this is impossible and the man was sure that he must have captured a ghost that night. The next clip was uploaded by Security98, who has done quite a bit of paranormal investigations on his channel. In this video, the uploader is driving down a quiet highway late at night, potentially working on another paranormal investigation, when he comes across a vehicle parked on the shoulder of the road. He pulls up behind the car as he believes to have seen someone inside and wants to check that everyone is alright. However, when he gets out of his car and makes his way to the vehicle, there's no one in sight. What security didn't realize is that he actually did catch something terrifying. Yeah. Somebody's in the car. I swear to God, I saw somebody in the car. A disembodied hand can be seen pressing against the glass of the car from the inside, and then it quickly disappears. No body or face can be seen in the car at all, and as we can notice, the car is definitely empty. Once security opens it up, no trace of a person is found, and it appears that the uploader did not notice the hand in the moment of filming. What explanation could there be for this video? Do you guys think this is a legitimate ghost sighting? Or was it just a reflection from somewhere? Let me know. And now we want to check out a couple of videos from James Fodder. And he thinks to have bought a haunted doll. This creepy looking doll from Goodwill. An employee said the owner wanted to get rid of it ASAP. And bought it law. That was creepy. Was that a cloth ball? Is this a shadow figure? This clip, shared by Michael66, shows a man venturing in the woods. It is not known what exactly he was doing there all by himself at the time, but he runs into a mysterious creature, seemingly sitting next to a tree.
In the thread people assumed that it could be some form of a ray creature. And I see the similarities to be honest with you. I mean, look at these slender limbs. An indicator. But who knows? The next video was shared by a concerned man who had received the following clip by a colleague of his. The man recorded originally for a completely different reason this night in front of a television. He was all alone sitting on his sofa chair when all of a sudden something seemed to move right in front of him. Some people say they can see something that resembles a head with hair. But how would that be possible? Do you think this could be another reflection from somewhere? Or are we looking at a paranormal encounter here? Unfortunately, it's not further known if the man experienced any more paranormal activity in his home. The following was sent by Jem, and he was on a nightly ghost investigation close to a local forest. Right at the entrance, there seemed to be an old building, and really close to it, people could hear strange noises ever so often, at least according to the reports. Could Jem maybe capture something from another realm that night? This is another really intriguing recording. It was apparently shared by a family member of the Dark Dimension. Security guards noticed something really odd transpiring right in front of the building they were surveilling. The figure of a woman seems to have made it onto the property and nobody knew who she was or where she came from. And she disappeared as mysteriously as she appeared. They had never seen such an event transpiring there. So, some say that this probably was a ghost lady, who manifested and who we can see walking through the picture here. Or was it just a confused lady in her nightgown that snuck onto the property without security noticing what was going on? In the end, we can all just speculate 